is a very small camp and it's become something huge. But within that, you know, it's not only Muay Thai and fitness. MMA holds its own. For having four guys on one card in Australia it speaks for itself. We have a huge amount of talent at Tiger Muay Thai. You know, we have a, a set group of guys that stay here year-round, and then we have guys that come in throughout the year for their training camp. So we have a very solid team. So I'm fighting November 27th, uh, Melbourne, Australia. So I'll be taking on Jason Knight. I'm on my way to clear out the division. I'm taking it one fight at a time and I'm working my way towards that title. Is Jason Knight gonna stop me from that dream? Not at all. He doesn't have the skill set to, to slow me down whatsoever. I'm looking to make this performance of the night, not fight of the night. Dan Hooker, who's been uh, with us since the tryouts, he trained with us before that in those times, but he's been here almost a year, steady and consistent. Dan's a very good stand-up fighter. He's got a great ground game. He's very good all around, and he's he's very knowledgeable about MMA. I think he's gonna he's gonna put on a good show and get a good finish. When I walk in the cage, I'm emotionless. I'm blank, I'm cold hearted when I go out there. I kind of transform into a different guy. I'm going out there to hunt and destroy. Like I'm, I'm looking for a finish that entire time. <laughs> the desire to win will drive me to want to go train even when I'm tired and wore down. It don't matter, it's just no, I wanna. Fighting Jake Matthews, he's from Melbourne, Australia, so I'm going in there fighting hometown guy. Just an aggressive person. Uh, I was in wrestling, it just keeps going. Just keep coming forward, put the pressure on him, and uh, see if they can keep up with the cardio. Holbrook from the U.S. He's come out to train with us. He's a great asset to the team. He's a great training partner and he's very good. He's, he's a very tough, hard-nosed guy. He's got good boxing, good wrestling. He's very good on the ground in jiu-jitsu. He's very well-rounded, but he's just a tough, tough kid. Well, when I got that phone call, that was a, just a dream come true. Um, I've been doing this for you know, a while now and this is what I want to do for a living and, and I've put my family on hold this whole time dedicated everything to chasing this, this dream and to finally say I'm a UFC fighter and I accomplished that. It's just unbelievable. I'm always looking to make a statement. So every time I, I fight, it's I'm setting a statement. Before it was to be in the UFC, setting a statement so they could sign me. Now it's setting a statement to show them why I should be in there.
Alex Volkanovsky, he came with me in the tryouts initially. Just a great, great human being and an extremely good fighter. Put his time in, won belts, definitely earned his shot to get into the UFC and I'm super excited to see how he's going to do it. I think he's going to definitely uh, get the win and I think he's going to turn a lot of heads and surprise people like because he's very, very good. good When I got the phone call from UFC, it was like I reached almost my pinnacle of my career. Like I was so happy to be able to go on to the biggest stage of MMA, and that's and MMA is like my life. That's that's, that's who I am. That's what I do. So to get to the biggest stage for martial arts is is a huge accomplishment for me. It, it was it was a big achievement for me. I was, I was really happy. Big win. He's another guy that was one of our trout winners. He's super exciting to watch fight. You know, if you look at him, he's like a gamer and he's not what you would your stereotypical fighter would look like. But when he fights, he is definitely a fighter and he definitely makes a lot of noise. So I just wanna get out there and just do my best and I, I just wanna have fun to be honest with you. No, they ain't very nice. I'm hungry to succeed. It's a hunger and a drive that, that's just kept me in this game over the years. You know, this is the way I pay my bills. This is the way I take care of my family. So now it's, it's about being a success. Not just living the fighter lifestyle. I want something to show for it at the end of the day. I want to sit back and, and have built myself a successful life off this game. Closing out a big year, we've had a big year as a team, and there's no better way to have it than, you know, four guys competing in uh, the UFC on the Melbourne cards, the biggest stage in the world. I mean, I'm looking forward to see all of our guys come out with the wins and show what we've been doing at Tiger Muay Thai. We don't need to damage our bodies this fight out. We look after our bodies, we improve our skills now. As your fight draws close, you pick it up and you work hard, okay? Tiger on three. One, two, three, Tiger! Tiger!